Neighbours don't always get along, but Peter Jackson says the man next door has escalated their dispute to a dangerous new level, and he's afraid of what might come next. The whole front lawn has been burnt with cinder. Flames three feet tall. Social housing is a privilege, uh, and people need to respect their neighbours. And we've got this bloke next door who walks around with a jerry can full of petrol and sets light to my lawn. It's just after seven o'clock on Australia Day and this is Peter Jackson's neighbour. Wearing nothing but a pair of shorts, he wanders over to Peter's house and appears to check if anyone is home. Not for a neighbourly visit, but instead seemingly planning something far more sinister. And then he goes back and has a bit more of a think. That's my work vehicle there. Moments later, the neighbour returns, this time armed with a jerry can full of petrol, which he pours over Peter's front lawn. But it seems one wasn't enough, so he comes back with another container of fuel. He's pouring it all over my lawn, not once but twice. It's only half a metre away from my fence. For more than two minutes, nothing happens, then this. I was only half a metre away from a tree which could have gone up and smoked and I would have lost the house. The house would have gone down. A metre the other way, I would have lost my work vehicle. Peter Jackson has lived at this Gold Coast home for 30 years. During that time, his neighbours in the Housing Commission property next door have never been an issue until seven years ago. The first day that I met him, he abused me and called me all sorts of foul swear words and I didn't even know who he was. Peter has been told his neighbour suffers from an acquired brain injury, which is why we've chosen not to identify him. But Peter says the man's medical condition doesn't excuse the torment he's been subjected to. He's got a brain injury and he's had it for several years, so I know that, and, um, and I'm sorry about that, but I can't do anything about that. The list of nasty incidents the neighbour is accused of doing to Peter is long. Starting with these dents on his work van, Peter says they happened when he decided to throw rocks at his vehicle. We had washing out one day and he's climbed up over the fence and had verbal at me big time and then spat on my washing. Then there's the loud music. <laughs> blasting into Peter's home late at night. You can see in this video, the man has his windows open with the speakers facing directly towards Peter's house. I'm an audio engineer and I did a, a, a sound decibel reading of it uh, and it exceeded 80 dB and that was over 10 o'clock at night. That's as loud as a lawnmower and it happens on a regular basis. Peter only learned who was behind the lawn blaze after checking his CCTV cameras. I said, mate, you did a really good job last night. I've got it. Unfortunately, I've got you on CCTV. Do you know what you did last night? And he was quite legible. He said, yep. I said, you realise it's, you've set fire to my lawn? Yep. I said, I'm going to go to the police about this. Peter claims he's tried to resolve the ongoing issues by contacting the neighbour's relative, who has confirmed to a current affair they provide the man with support and daily visits also acknowledging he has serious health issues which contribute to his behaviour. But they claim Peter is partially to blame because he antagonises his neighbour. I've never provoked him. I, like I said, I, we try to keep to ourselves here. Peter has also taken his complaints to Queensland's Department of Housing around 20 times over seven years. In a statement to a current affair, the department says it can't comment on individual cases, but it has strong behaviour management policies in place to ensure tenants meet their obligations to look after their properties and be good neighbours. It's important uh, that neighbours can live together peacefully and so uh, mediation is the first step in, in making that happen. Tim Mander is Queensland's Shadow Minister for Housing. If there are mitigating circumstances with regards to mental health issues, uh, when the government has a responsibility to provide the support to tenants so they can maintain their tenancy without disrupting the neighbours. Peter is now worried what could happen next. Yeah, he could do anything. I mean, I just don't know what to expect next. 
Queensland Police is aware of this latest incident and Gold Coast City Council is also investigating the lawn fire.